What's going on? So, this should be a pretty short tutorial. Uh, I got a comment on previous video. Always remember, just comment if you want to make, uh, if you want like a different tutorial. So this one is rainbow eyes, and this effect is pretty fun. It's really simple to make too. So start we're going to the asset library. We're gonna need two things. You can look these up. It's probably easier to look them up. We need eyeballs. So th this is a. I like this asset. Th this and this are different. This is just like not as cool as this. So get this one. And we need to go to materials. So this this tutorial is how to make rainbow eyes, but remember. You can use whatever material you want. You can make gold eyes, denim eyes, knit fabric eyes, lace fabric eyes, eyeball eyes, cloud eyes, you know. I don't have to keep going, so. Rainbow material and eyeballs. And you have to press the X. So, drag under perspective camera. Follow directions. And now, look. We have eyeballs. <laughs> Next thing we want to do, simply, we're going to change this material in our inspector. We're going to change this material to the rainbow material. So now we got one eyeball. Go to the second eyeball. Repeat the process. We have two eyeballs. And next thing you can do, if you'd like to, if you scroll down, you can edit the um, rainbow material. So if you want it to be like the effect that I made a, a few, maybe, maybe a month ago or something, I did this. And I'm not even get really going to do it because y you guys can mess around with this if you want to, but you can do everything to change the rainbow material. You can do this with all the other materials too, to an extent. And then the next thing we have to do, if you notice the difference between right here and the effect that I published, is I made pupils. So how I did that is pretty simple. All I did was press add object and go to some of these pre-mades. You can use a sphere. It's really big. So then go to scene and just scale this down. We want to bring it towards the foreground a little bit, scale it down some more. I'm not gonna make it perfect just because this this effect will not be published. So yeah, that's Let's just say this is your pupil. And you can do fine adjustments by, instead of using the arrows, just use these. But we're not gonna be doing that just because, like I said. And then, so in, instead of like doing a whole nother sphere and like doing the inverse coordinates for making the second eyeball, the easier thing to do is just press Control, Control, click, if you're on Mac, um, and duplicate. So you can also do Command D, which I have not memorized the hotkeys. I don't know if I ever will. And then just drag it. You want it to be a child of this for organization's sake. And then just take it and bring it over here. And then if you want to get like, well, you, trust me, you want to do this or else it's going to mess with your OCD. You, all you have to do is find a uh, so we're changing the x value. So this is negative 0.3215. Go here and make it positive 0.3215. So now it's um, it, it should be symmetrical. But it doesn't look symmetrical, right? So I'm, I'm actually a bit confused. Should I troubleshoot this or just make it a short video? I don't know. 0. 0.3215, wait, 0. 0.3215, 0. 
I think it is symmetrical. I think that maybe... See, it looks symmetrical on the preview, but just not, like, over here. We could just move it over, you know. But I'm not going to spend, like, too much time. Because this, this is something that you can figure out on yourself, on your own. And then, uh, um, going back to something we covered in a previous video, to make it black, or any other thing, or you can... You can change these spheres to, and you make them rainbow again. Make rainbow eyes with rainbow pupils if you want. Make a new simple PBR. Click on it. Change the base color to black. And change the spheres to the simple PBR. So now they look a little bit more like pupils. So wow, that was like that was like a speed run tutorial, right? I hope that was enough. Should I do something else? This is what it looks like without the face occluder. I think that looks kind of funny. Somebody could make an effect with that. But yeah, these these eyeballs are. I like this asset. It's really neat. It's the, my favorite part is that they work. But yeah, I mean. Really cool effect for like the amount of work it took, right? We did that in like less than 10 minutes. Maybe I'll make another video today. So yeah, <laughs> that's the tutorial. I'll edit it up and get it out for you guys.